What's going on everybody? We are here. No idea why that took so long to load. It was spinning and 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 spinning. And we are here. We've got Mr. Brian first in the chat. Baby. What's going on, Mr. Brian? Nick F, good morning to you. 18, 18 million views. I don't believe it, Nick F. I don't believe it. Guys, however many of you are in here and this stuff's not loading right today. Thank you very much for watching the videos 18 million times. 1776, what's happening, man? Peter Banfield, how you doing? Frank, Peter, Roulette, Roulette Wheel, Frank, Gorilla, YNB, Patrick, Patrick. Thank you very much for the super chat. Mr. Bryant is first, baby. Fist bomb. And some authorized hydration to start the chat off right. Patrick, man, thank you very much for the super chat. And Mr. Brian, thank you very much for being first. Gonna pull on late. I'm not gonna be late. I was late today. Who was right on that one? I don't know. Anybody you guys right? I vote alive one minute after. All right, well, it's fine, man. I'm still here. Hemi Life, what's happening? Man? Frank, Dark Bro, Missing Link, Roulette Wheel, Kristen, hello, good morning to you. Moji, Roulette Wheel, Dial Up Survivor, Pat, Old Rounder, Pat, Dial Up Survivor, Michael Martin, how you do? Or Michael Marin, sorry. Sean, Pat, Crypto Dreamer, Sky Stonify. Boom, baby. Fist bumps all all around let's see what's happening in the market today we've got amc well we thought it was in the top left hand side of the screen amc is in the top left hand side of the screen of 4.47 percent today nice gains up to five dollars and 29 cents we've got shiba inu going to the top right sitting at 1067 of 1.38 percent today gamestop 21.28 it is up four percent today and bitcoin doing pretty well this morning sitting at 21,192 dollars to break even, but nonetheless, man, Bitcoin looking good at 21,185, 85, 87, 88, 89, woohoo, 90 right now, Bitcoin looking pretty solid, NASDAQ up 0.11% on the day, not too much, but a decent gain, uh, let's see, talked about GameStop, Bureau Therapeutics, $4.78, it is back up on the day, 12%, but down from the intraday highs at 587, already lost over 20% from where it was earlier earlier. Bjorn Therapeutics showing a lot of volatility over the last couple of days here, guys. And a green candle today is looking very nice after the spike that we had last week. So keep your eye on Bjorn Therapeutics if you guys are in it. If not, well, it's okay. AMC, like we say, 528. Ethereum, 1575 right now. Shiba, 1070 or 1068. Dogecoin, 8.3 cents. Bitcoin sitting at 21.2 at the moment. Sundial, $2.32. Mullen Auto down 12% today to 31 cents per share. Uh, CEI, $1.85. It is down 2.50%. Uh, SPY, three ninety eight, basically break even on the day. BBIG, eighty cents, guys. BBIG is up eighteen percent today. Highcroft Mining, sixty eight cents per share. Netflix, three hundred twenty five dollars. Terra Luna Classic sitting at seventeen six. QQQ, two eighty one. And Ape sitting at a dollar sixty one right now, up six percent per share on Ape. Things are looking good. Good morning, Clay and Bros. What is going on, Pika? Hopefully you had a great birthday over the weekend. And also, if uh, Outdoor Smile is in here, hopefully he had a great weekend as well. Happy birthday to both of you guys, and well, hopefully you enjoyed it. If you want to share with, with or want to share with us what you did? Perfect. If not, it's all right. Uh, but I do hope you guys had a great birthday. And let's watch Bitcoin down on the bottom left hand side of the screen. I bought seven mega millions ticket. I hit one number plus a mega on one ticket and only received four dollars. Oh, one and eighty nine shot proves the lottery is a scam. Old rounder, bro. Yeah, I don't know if the lottery is a scam or not, but the lottery is certainly in favor of the lottery winning, man. That's why the jackpots get up to a billion dollars anyway, dude. You got a 1 in 300 million chance of winning. Like, that, that, that's so unattainable. It is crazy. You actually got a better chance of, what, probably playing uh, every professional sport that there is than you do... Um, Winning the lottery. It's ridiculous. Uh, good run in crypto this long weekend. Bracing for the sell-off, which seems to have started today. Yeah, we are going to see how that plays out, man. I don't know if the sell-off necessarily started just yet, but we haven't been able to break up through this level of resistance on... Um, on Bitcoin here, around the $21,000 mark, going up to twenty one six in that upper upper end of the channel there. Uh, we got a nice doji forming here today. So I do believe that if we can't get it, steam may be running out. 
And if steam runs out or energy runs out, however you want to say it, we may begin to curl back over. The good news is we might be stuck in this new channel now. We might be stuck in the channel between 20 and 21 like we were back here. And, and then, you know, using 19 as a very strong level of support. We'll have to see if it does turn into a pretty decent sell-off or not. But, uh, yeah, very strong moves over the last couple of, of days here. And such strong moves that it completely wiped out all of the losses from FTX. We completely regained all of the loss since the FTX fallout. Think about that. One of the largest exchanges in the world is is just 100% fraudulent, and we tank in price, but a month later, nobody cares. A month later, nobody cares that, that millions of people were defrauded of their money, millions of people were scammed out of their holdings, and the price goes right back up. Uh, the market is brutal, man. The market does not. The market's not gonna lose sleep over you. I'm gonna tell you that. So you better not be losing sleep over the market. Uh, and Bitcoin trading water at twenty-one thousand one hundred right now. Ryan, what is going on, Ryan? Where you been, man? Where you been, Ryan, my brother? Thank you very much for being in here. You're like a brother to me, Ryan. You're like a brother. Hey, Dial-Up Survivor, what's going on? Funny story, Pika. I drive through Topeka, Kansas every week for work. And when I saw a sign of the Kansas City Turn... Uh, yeah, maybe Kansas Turnpike, I started arguing with myself that the sign was spelled incorrectly. For Pika? So I don't know if that's what we're talking about or not, but I like it, Pat. Seriously, I was thinking myself... Oh, there you go. Topeka. Good old ADHD kicking in. Yes, that sounds. that's the way I would want to say it, too. Pika. I'd want to call it the Pika Pika. This loon quarter is not losing hope. Kristen, I like it. Don't lose hope. Listen, as soon as you lose hope, though, the game's over, man. Don't don't lose hope in anything. Terra Luna Classic, crypto in general, Bitcoin, Shiba, whatever it is. Uh, hope in yourself. Like, don't lose hope. And once you lose hope, things are... Things will take a turn for the worse, no matter what. <clears throat> Katrina Rose, what are your thoughts about Shibarium? Do you think Shiba hits a dollar after Shibarium launch? Uh, so Katrina, no, I, I don't think that Shiba Inu coin is going to hit a dollar after the, the Shibarium launch. The only way that Shiba Inu coin, in my opinion, would ever get to a dollar <laughs> is if Shibarium or, or any other way burned like 99% of the current supply or 99.9% .9 of the current supply uh, with 500 trillion coins outstanding in order for Shiba Inu coin to reach a dollar you would need to have a 500 trillion dollar valuation that would be worth like 10 times all of the companies that trade in on the United States stock market it would be an insane amount of value it would basically be worth more than the world is worth. So I would say, no, we're not going to reach a dollar unless, of course, 99.9% .9 of the supply is burned. But if Shibarium can do that, let's say all of crypto decides to use Shibarium, well, then we can burn that many coins. But it's going to not be easy to, to reach those levels. Uh, let's see. Is that a cup I see? It could very well be a cup, but I don't know which one you're looking at, man. If you're looking at AMC, yes, it could be a cup. Where's the handle? That's what we need to know. Anxious to hear the Twitter space with Duncan about his possible repeg ideas. I, look, I'm not 100% on board with repegging, but yes, I, I am always interested in hearing these ideas. I just know that if it didn't work the first time, I don't know what these kids are going to do that's going to make it work the second time. Yeah, like that's my hang up with it. Uh, there's a slim, like super slim chance. Long term retirement portfolio hits 10k this week. Started end of last July. Frank, man, I love it. Super slim chance. What do you got to go up, man? 10 percent, 8 percent, 12 percent. What do you got to go up to get that uh, to get that 10k? It's definitely spelled wrong. Pika, that it is. Clever two interviews this week. One today, one tomorrow. Let's it go. Gorilla Invictus. What time is your interview today, man? You got this. You're going to kill it, dude. You're going to kill it. Clever, what are your thoughts on the Terraport Dex and the pre-sale for Terra? Kristen, very good question. Um, I don't know if you watched the video this morning. Please watch the video for more detailed thoughts on the Dex and all of that stuff. 
uh, appreciate it if you do. But nonetheless, I I think that pre-sales and, and the way that they're structuring this entire decentralized exchange, I'm going to be optimistic, okay? Let me start here. I don't necessarily like when you introduce all of these new tokens to an ecosystem. But if you look at what Lunatics token did for Terra Luna Classic at the very beginning, it did burn a lot of coins. So I, I do think that there are benefits to people being able to, to diversify in some of these like side projects. And, and when the side projects are, are able to burn or, or promote the main project. So I do think that it can be a good idea. I don't necessarily like the new tokens being introduced. But it, it is beyond strange to me how willing these people are to say that they are selling securities, that they are selling equity, that what they are doing is no different than a company listing shares of its company. They have stated that. They, they have stated that. Uh, Terra C Vita has stated that about Terra, this new symbol that's going to hit the scene, and uh, the decentralized Terra port, decentralized exchange that they've got. I think they need to be careful with their wording and change that up. Uh, otherwise, you know, SEC could come in and just shut them down for raising a couple million dollars in what they claim is an equity raise. Uh, Ryan, thank you very much for the super chat, man. Ryan, thank you very much, my brother Ryan. I appreciate you, man. Anonymous, Jasmine, just parted with Honda and Sony, man. It's insane. That is insane, dude, because I haven't seen that yet. But if Jasmine's partnering with Sony and Honda, what are they doing with them? That, that's what I want to know. Ship, using a spring metaphor, I don't think we see Shibarium until mid-end of March. Bradley. Uh, you're talking about that pine tree, right? Coming through the end of winter and all of that good stuff. It's an absolute possibility that we don't see Shibarium until the end of March. It's an absolute possibility, dude, that we don't see Shibarium until until the end of fall when the guys in the southern hemisphere are having their spring. Like, it is... I don't know. I have no expectations on when Shibarium will actually be released. Ah, uh, let's see. I haven't, but I will. Kristen, good deal. I'd be happy if Shib hit 10 cents. Dial of Survivor, I would be very happy if Shiba Inu coin hit 10 cents. Ah, uh, let's see. What? 2 p.m. today, 1 p.m. tomorrow. Feeling good about it. I know people, uh, it's both, and got good referrals. Uh, good vibes, baby, good vibes. Gorilla, question is, which one are you more interested in? The interview today or the interview tomorrow, man? Need yeah, a 4.6 this week for 10K. Let's get it, Frank. You got this, man. You got this. 4.6% this week. You got this, Frank. I'm out when ship hits half a cent. There you go, Moji. You guys can you guys can buy Moji shares. If you think it's going to a dollar, definitely buy Moji's coins at, at half a cent there. Pat, thanks. Heck yeah, Mr. Bryant. Thanks for being first. No Toast thinks he's first. No Toast, you're not first, man. Mr. Bryant was first. Ship could hit a dollar, but the inflation will have to hit 99%. Yeah, roulette wheel. Ship could hit a dollar if the U.S. dollar is actually worthless. I mean, if the, if the U.S. dollar becomes worthless, then she be new coin can hit a dollar, yes. Uh, everybody hit the like button. Listen to Kristen, man. Hit that like button. What are you guys doing? Uh, let's see. You, you know, Michael, man. How high do I realistically think Shiba Inu coin or any of these other coins can go? Um, if you just look at the market cap of of the previous bull market, right? The best coins in the world were between a 50 and, like, if you don't count Ethereum and Bitcoin, which were ridiculously high, a few hundred billion to a trillion dollar market cap. The best coins in the world were between like a 50 and 100 billion dollar market cap. Now, during the next bull market, I think 50 to 100 billion dollar market cap for the top coins is is attainable, but let's just let's just double it. You know what I mean? Let's let's just double it and say that the next bull market gives us double the gains that we've had in the previous bull markets. You'd be looking at at roughly 100 to 200 billion dollar valuations on the top coins in the world. And and that's going to drastically increase the the overall market cap of the cryptocurrency industry. 
So if you're looking at that, dude, and SHIB's got a hundred billion dollar market cap, you'd be looking at you know twice the price that we had in the previous one. So I, I believe the previous one was uh what was it three zero was it four zeros in an eight yeah because where are we at right now yeah four zeros in an eight man so you'd be looking at a little over a 10 you you might see like a 15x increase from where we are right now in the price of shiba inu coin during the the next bull market run if things just double in value so obviously impossible to state with any sort of clarity but that's one way of looking at it man uh luke is making a decentralized exchange is going to move uh, for uh, this is the go-to move for tokens that have no utility claim they are building utility through a decentralized exchange networks yeah so terra luna classic isn't necessarily doing it um terra c vita one of the developer groups is is doing it and they're doing it with a new coin or a new token called Terra. So they're building their utility based on that decentralized exchange. So I, I know that they're going to try and heavily take advantage of, of the popularity of Terra Luna Classic. It's not Terra Luna Classic that's going in and, and building the decentralized exchange. It's basically a new token coming in and building on the popularity of the Terra Luna Classic exchange. So that's why I don't necessarily like these new tokens that are just constantly introduced to you know supplement Terra Luna Classic or Shiba Inu coin and so on. But if they work out, you know, they're going to have a benefit to it. Uh, I made a dex with a new native token called Terra on the white pairs. Yeah, 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 Kristen, you got it. Uh, Clever, what do you think is a good price to enter into Bone? Ryan, very good question, man. Uh, look, right now is a good price to enter into Bone if, okay, this is the if, if you believe that Shibarium is going to have just, uh, uh, like, support from the start. If you think its initial launch is going to be successful, now's a good time to get in. Why? Because if it only ever sees success, you should most likely only ever see the price of bone continue to increase over the long term now. Think about it like, you know, Polygon, think about it like Ethereum, think about it like all of these other coins out there that have a, a layer one or layer two blockchain associated with the gas fees being paid. If you think that it's going to take a while to adopt Shibarium, and it's going to take a while to get a lot of users onto the Shibarium blockchain, I would say that there's going to be an initial sell-off in Bone based on the release and the <laughs> moment of, you know, well, that was a lot of hype. We've got 3,000 people that are using Shibarium. Uh, it's going to take 45 decades for, for Shiba Inu coin to be burnt down. Uh, the volume is extremely low. You know, if that's the narrative that hits the scene when Shibarium's released, you're going to see a sell-off in Bone, man. People are going to be disappointed. So I don't know which one of those two scenarios plays out. If I had to guess, I'm going to say it's not going to see initial just 100% adoption right off the bat. I think it's going to take a while. But it, that's it's just because nothing ever is just 100% successful from the start. It takes time, consistency, and dedication to make it successful. So that's the way I'm looking at Bone right now, man. Uh, I'm told coconut water is good to drink when you're sick, but this stuff is gross. JB, you sick too? I, I don't feel that good today, man. I didn't feel that good over the weekend. Uh, I got a little just a stuffy nose. I took some Dayquil today. Just a, a stuffy nose, dude. Kind of feeling a little congested in my head, you know. Uh... Wasn't draining too bad because I didn't wake up with a sore throat or anything. But uh, yeah, dude, just yeah, it's just I don't feel that great right now. So anybody else kind of sick out there today? I just don't feel a hundred percent, you know. And I, I hate when I don't feel a hundred percent. But I don't feel a hundred percent. So if you hear me, you know, sniffling a little bit. Hopefully it's not too gross. But kind of dried up with the day quill going on. Uh, let's see. Do you think any token coins will do 1,000x in the next bull run? If so, which ones do you think? Universal. Yes, I do. Uh, it sounds like Leech is trying to dip into the pocket to lunatic. Oh, they are, JB. They are. But hopefully those leeches bring benefit is the way I look at it, man. 
you, you can't stop leeches from existing and you can't stop people from wanting to take advantage of of potential you know popularity and things like that hopefully they just bring a benefit along the way so universal thousand x's are going to happen during the next bull market it is guaranteed okay same way you saw you know million x gains in things like shiba inu coin there will be thousand x gains um, those are going to be lottery ticket plays, dude. W which coins are they going to be? Extremely low market cap coins. Either coins that don't even exist yet and, and get some hype and some excitement surrounding them like Shiba Inu coin had in 2021 or coins like uh, Tectonic that are supposedly pretty well known at this point in the DeFi space, DeFi lending, and, and are popular but still only have like a 10 to $20 million market cap. If you have a 10 to $20 million market cap and you thousand X, you're going to have a $10 billion valuation. $10 billion valuation is it's acceptable. Okay. And you can expect that for some coins, for some new coins to hit that scene during the next bull market. That in no way implies that te tectonic is going to thousand X during the next bull market. But you've got to look at coins like that that are currently popular but have very low market caps. Um, don't expect a coin like Bitcoin or Ethereum to 1,000x during the next bull market uh, and you know, put itself at a, a thousand uh, quadrillion dollar valuation or anything, man. That would be, that would be wild. All right, guys, I'm going to catch back. I'm going to try and catch back up to the chat at least. If I miss you, very sorry. Say something else in the chat. Crypto market need a little pump. I thought the whole market was dead and going to stay dead. Roulette wheel. Well, I'm glad it got a little pump, man. I don't think that the overall economy is good enough to sustain this pump just yet. But, hey, we hope for some for some good gains along the way. Uh, let's see. Sarah Destep, 50 Shades of Kuroi. What's up, Sarah? How you doing? Yeah, it's just a cold. More than, more of just an annoyance. Yeah, JB, that's kind of what I'm feeling too. Like 80%. I ain't been 100% in a while. Yeah, Dirk, bro. I live 80%, man. When you don't sleep well, you always live at like 80. Try ginger tea, clip. I gotta try something, Ryan. I gotta try something. Uh, I've been boosting up on some vitamin C and like fruit. Get some raspberries, blackberries, and, uh, you know, drink some vitamin C with, with fruit and some lemon juice and it's, nice. it's good man uh where we at when is the dump coming i sold off a lot taking profits but i'm ready to buy back in at about half the price franchise man if you can get in at half the price get in at half the price i don't know okay i don't know if we're gonna see a dump here pretty soon um, bitcoin still seeming to do pretty well holding up at this twenty-one thousand area not really wanting to fall back down a little bit if it does i think you're going to see a decent sell-off here in a minute if it is able to fall through this level but nonetheless man the overall market seeming to do okay today treading water not selling off in a major way but one of the headlines that i've been reading and you guys are probably going to start seeing more often is that banks are bracing for a recession. Banks' earnings are going down because these inflation rates and interest rates are going up, and and therefore banks bracing for a recession is uh, is something that they're probably going to start talking about and push us into a recession because of it. Greetings from South Africa, Abby. Greetings from Ohio. I'm afraid dilution will prevent a big long-term tectonic gains. Quite possibly, Kristen. It is absolutely quite quite possible the dilution in any form prevents large gains dark bro metamask is awesome and so is clay bro boom baby enough said dark bro i love it yeah metamask i like metamask and trust wallet i like both of those and uh, of course i like clay bro as well so dark bro man thank you very much for that absolutely appreciate it so i'll be all around robin hood there's two different prices on the exact same days one chart shows dollars on the other one shows pennies why is that uh, B, uh, Shredda, is it, are, are you looking at the exact same stock? I don't know if you are. If you are, one of the, the potential causes of that, and I'm just guessing here, you could be looking at split adjusted prices versus pre-split prices. I really don't know what you're seeing. Um, there's clearly only one Bior Therapeutics. It, it underwent like a 25 for one split. And the current price is $4.88 right now on Bior Therapeutics. So I'm not sure what you're seeing down there. 
but that the current price is 480. Ryan, thank you very much for the super chat again. Ryan, my friend, I love it, man. Thank you very much. Clay, look at XTP, 50 X, XTP, 50 X this month, number 649. Ryan Davis, man, let's see if we got XTP right here. Pull it up. Uh, let's see, XTP. XTP is tap. Wow, 45% today. XTP is looking very good. Uh, 17. This is another very low market cap coin here. $17 million market cap with the current outstanding supply. Uh, let's see. One. <laughs> yeah, dude, I, I don't know. This is, this is the kind of stuff that you can see in the crypto space. So down here at the end of December, this coin was only doing 400, 600, 500, 300, 200, 200, 700 dollars a day in volume. That's extremely low, right? Extremely low. And the price is 0 0.0002. Extremely low price. Today, it's already burnt, man. Two zeros in the last two weeks. Burned two zeros in the last two weeks, man. Roughly, like he says, 50xing. Almost 100x gain. If it goes up to, if it goes up to two and a half cents, it's a 100x gain in the last two weeks so i don't know what's going on here why this stock would or why this uh, this uh crypto here would 50x like that but going from a hundred dollars a day in volume to four million dollars over the last 24 hours something is going on with xtp and with tap i do not know the answer to it i do not know what it is ryan if you do or if anybody else has looked into it a little bit more please let us know but uh, yeah, that is a wild increase in volume. Very similar increase in volume to what Shiba Inu coin saw in 2021. But man, dude, wouldn't you just love, wouldn't you have loved to gone out and had, you know, $500 or something in, in tap or even $100 in tap, man. You go buy $100 worth of tap and then it 100Xs and you're sitting on, what, $10,000 ten thousand dollars in tap instead of a hundred dollars this stuff's ridiculous man 50 grand if you would have bought a hundred or five hundred dollars worth samantha good morning to you samantha how you doing earnings were bad yes bank earnings were very bad clay how long it be how long we got to get chat gpt before we get left behind and forgotten about in this world since everyone's saying it will be too late but easier said than done when you have money to get it yeah chris man i don't know how long it's gonna be before chat gpt type of of ai takes over I'll say this though, dude. You you can go out and just scroll through Twitter, scroll through. I haven't been on Facebook probably since like 2015 or something, but you can scroll through social media, and you can see, man, that there's a lot of people that yes will honestly get left behind in this AI revolution. And I'm not saying right the 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 vast majority of people they're dumb or anything i'm not i'm not trying to be i'm not trying to be bad here but there's a lot of people who are just unwilling to put forth an effort and i believe that those people will get left behind by an ai or or a artificial intelligence revolution now there's going to be a lot of people that, that are able to take advantage of it um i don't think that people start getting left behind by by AI until AI becomes physically capable. Now, think about this. I've got a Google in my house. You guys probably got a Google or an Alexa in your house as well. And and it doesn't do much other than, you know, being a voice. Ask it to play music, it plays music. I could literally go click Spotify or Pandora on my phone and play some music. If I ask it a question, okay, man, I, I could literally type in a question on my phone or computer. So it, it's not much more capable than, than the internet already is in just addressing information. Now, okay, if it was hooked up to the internet in a way that was capable of doing something like asking it to write a business plan and implement that business plan and so on, 
or, or beyond that, you know, Amazon uh, may be a little bit more capable. I don't say, hey, you know, repurchase my grocery order from last week or, or anything like that. I don't say anything like that with Google. But, it, you know, people that do that, it, it is, you know, it is capable of making decisions and making purchases at that point. So it is like a step ahead. That's the type of stuff that is going to leave people behind when AI actually begins to implement the decisions and implement the knowledge that it has. J Modes, baby! 19 months, of bro. Oh my goodness. To the moon! Alice, love the bro fam, man. J Bones, dude. 19 months of bro. I love that right there. 19 months of bro. He is in he's in the same category as AMC Trapper, Stephanie Bro, Mr. Simon, and Chris, soon to be 19 months of bro as well. You guys are definitely up there. J Bones, man. Thank you very much for being a bro for 19 stinking months. Did you see the pump and dump for Bitcoin as and when the U.S. markets opened? Jonathan, what do you mean, Jonathan Benjamin? What do you mean? I don't think that Bitcoin's necessarily dumping right now. Bitcoin's basically right around break even. Is that what you're talking about or are you talking about something else? Sure, you're not. Well... It's listening all the time. That it is doing, man. That it is doing. If you say Google, it, it's definitely listening. When AI becomes sentient, that's when you have to... Yeah, you know what, man? Universal. I I actually don't worry about that. I, that's something I've never worried about. You know, I, I've, I've never worried about AI becoming self-aware or anything. Um, I, I don't know. That, that to me, is, is not something that AI is going to do. To other people, they might have that concern. But that that's never been a concern of mine. I'm much more concerned about like time travel than I would ever be uh, artificial intelligence becoming self aware. Uh, let's see. No, I mean I know for a fact our phones are listening, dude. I I can sit there and have a conversation and say something, and then it, it auto fills on Google. The very next time I go to search something on Google, like yeah, there's something weird about your phone listening to you when you're not talking to your phone. I know the phones are listening too. AI seems like some Skynet takeover stuff from the Terminator movie series. Ryan. Yeah. I don't know if we're there yet, dude. I, I don't think that we're there yet. Maybe one day, but but as of right now, no, I'm not concerned about that just yet. I'm a bro for three months from TikTok. Samantha. I love it. Samantha is a bro. Yes. Edward Snowden proved they're listening. No, I know for a fact they're listening, dude. I mean, I, I don't even deny that, right? In, in look. That part also doesn't scare me too much that they're listening. Like, I understand they're listening. But if they're just using it for, like, advertising purposes, whatever, man. Like, that that part doesn't bother me too much. Um, if they're going to start doing something dumb, all right, then, then it bothers me. But I, I don't care. Advertise to me if you guys want. John Jay, thank you very much for the super chat. Bear market, bye bye. Rocket, wanna take us away? Wanna take us away? Yes, I would jump on a rocket right now with Wanna, hands down, no questions asked. Yes, in the bear market, goodbye to you. Goodbye to you, a bear market. John Jay, man, I don't know if the bear market's gone just yet or not. I hope that it is. We've had a very nice two weeks. We've had a very nice 2023 so far. Um, the, you know, the overall stock market, if you look at the NASDAQ, it's been going up for the last two weeks here. It's nice. Bottomed out at the beginning of the year, and it has been rising. This is what we were talking about, though. You guys can see this, man. This line, this descending trend line. We talked about this, was it Friday? This descending trend line has held up since the bull market ended in 2021 here. We can pull this back a little bit. Since the bull market ended in 2021, boom, tapped this high, 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 currently tapping this high. I don't know if we break this line right here. I truly believe that this line is going to continue holding up. If we break it, amen. You know, we might finally be breaking that downtrend, and I'd, I'd be a little bit more optimistic about a bull market. But these technical analysis trends li trend lines, man, they are used by traders. And if traders are using this, we could absolutely be wedging down in here between 10.3. 
up to 10-3 over there by, by March, mid-March maybe. We might be trending back down into this area right here. So that's what I'm focused on right now is a potential trend down into this 10-3 area uh, by mid-March. We'll see how it plays out. It's trying though, man. It's trying to be a good day today and move up. So we'll see what happens. But that descending trend line is going to be very, very difficult to break on the overall market. Uh, let's see. Hey, Trent, I'll get you in two seconds, man, after I say Patrick. Thank you very much for the super chat. AI is taking over. Come with the clay bro and get on. Get, come with clay bro and get in the chopper if you want to live. Yes, man. Come with clay bro and get in the chopper if you want to live. Do it. Do it. My accents are the worst accents. My uh, impressions and accents, yes. But my impressions, man, are the worst impressions ever. So don't say that I didn't warn you about that one, Pat. I'm very sorry. Oh, and you got that author the authorized hydration I can do. The Arnold impression. No, I can't do that one, man. I'm terrible at that one. All right. I don't think time travel exists because if it did, people from the future would have already been here to tell us about it. Maybe centuries back. Universal. I'm glad that it doesn't exist, man. Time travel stresses me out. Hoot! Watch Terminator. They give a play-by-play. -play. AI and time travel. DD214. Stressful, man. So I'm not very good at understanding this stuff, but will any part of the new Shibarium have a decentralized exchange? I want out of Coinbase. So yes, Trent Smith. Um, The current Shiba swap that is out there. You know, you can go to shibtoken.com and, and click on ShibaSwap, or I think it might be ShibaSwap.com. I'm not exactly sure what the website is. But, you know, if you go to the main Twitter account and you go click on their ShibaSwap, that's the decentralized exchange. That will move over and be built on Shibarium from there. So, yes, if you want out of Coinbase, you can use ShibaSwap right now. If you want to wait until ShibaSwap is, is on Shibarium, of course, you can wait until ShibaSwap is on Shibarium. But that is going to be the decentralized exchange always for the Shiba Inu coin ecosystem. Oh, let's see. Clay and Wana sitting in a rocket. No, it just doesn't have the same ring, dude. Doesn't have the same ring. Mm-mm. No, never mind. I'm not going to... Jeez. Sometimes you think of stuff and, oh, that rhymes with rocket. Like, it's just... You can't do that. You can't do that on... Can't do that. Uh, hello, everybody. You're the best, man. Yo, what's going on, Mr. Johns? How you doing? Hi, Clay, bro. How is you? Sam Demand number four. What is going on, Sam Demand? How have you been? Uh, I get more puts and I stay for more. I say get in and get more when you stay. When you, when you stay is good. And I want pink name to thank you. Well, Sam Demand, I don't know how you get a pink name. You got to get a green name in here. I don't think that they have pink names, but uh, yeah, dude, at least you're at least you're doing good, I think, right? I want a house in Florida. Come on, Shib, take off. I'm tired of Wisconsin winners. Yeah, dial up. Wisconsin. Has it really been that bad, though? Like, it's 48 degrees and cloudy in Ohio right now. That is extremely mild, man. 48 degrees and cloudy is extremely mild. <laughs> Clay, bro, thanks for the follow, bro. Appreciate it. Four fathers. Where did I follow you? Where did I follow you? Because I'm not sure. If you're talking about Twitter, I'm not sure I followed you on Twitter. I will follow you on Twitter. If you tag me in something right now, I'll, I'll follow you on Twitter. But I'm not sure I followed anybody anywhere over the weekend. So be careful with that if somebody, if it says a clay bro follows you. Uh, I'm honestly not sure I followed anybody anywhere over the weekend. Uh, let's see Ooh, when the engines count down when the engine countdowns begin for a blast off mission control says five four three two one that's our cue to say a wingo up a wingo up a wingo up a wingo up a ooh, yeah, ooh. time travel may exist time travelers are just super stealthy see old rounder coming in here trying to stress me out man i know he is uh, let's see. Here's a mind-bending theory. What if time travel is real? But every time someone does, it changes part of history. But it's still our future because that hasn't happened for us yet. Yeah, that, that, that that's the stuff about it, man. That's the stuff about it. It's incomprehensible. 
You go back down, no, dude. It's not good, man. It's not good. CJ killing him, man. What's going on, CJ? Thank you very much for the super chat. They always listening like a bitter ex-wife, man. Stalking your every move, CJ. Hopefully they use the information that they receive for the good and not for the bad. So hopefully it's slightly different. But yes, man, they are always listening for sure. CJ, dude, thank you very much for the super chat. Uh, sir, 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 if you're still in here, good evening to you. Absolutely. Oh, on some of what dark smoke. Yeah, man, dark. Dark going down the loopholes on that one, man. He's opening all the theories up. Uh, yes, J Bone saying you followed me on TikTok the other day. Yeah, forefathers, that I could have done, man. That I could have done. I just don't know if I did anything. I don't think I. I still don't even think I would have followed you over the weekend. So, if it was over the last couple of days, just be aware that might not be me. Clearly, if it was me, cool. <laughs> but yeah, it may not have been me if it was over the last couple of days. Uh, I'm going to be able to call in this a fake breakout, and we will continue to see movement downward. Do you agree? Gary, so uh, let me put it this way. Um, I don't think that there's anything as a – I don't think there's a fake breakout, okay, because we clearly are. It, it, stuff is breaking to the upside. Um, if you're talking about crypto, let, let's just do stocks first because I, I believe stocks can be done quicker. Uh, stocks are moving up, yes. They've been moving up nicely since the beginning of the year. But I've got this descending trend line that I'm worried about not being able to break through. Okay, Fake breakthrough? No, I think we're just bouncing, man. I think we're just bouncing and continuing to hit this descending trend line. If we break through this, then I'll be a little bit more excited about breaking to the upside in the stock market. So I still think we're going to wedge down to this area through mid-March. That's stocks. Crypto, on the other hand, crypto is interesting. Right now, we have erased all of the losses. We've regained our ground since the FTX fallout. FTX goes bankrupt here, and we lose massive amounts in Bitcoin, going from 21000 down to 15000 Over the last week or so, we have regained all of that territory, and it's looking nice. Is it a breakout? I don't know if it's necessarily a breakout yet because we're still uh, you know, limited by this level of resistance right here at the 21,500 mark. Beyond that, you know, we're going to have resistance at 24,000 and, and 25,000 again. So I don't know if it's necessarily a break, but you can't argue with the results. We have moved nicely higher over the last two weeks since the beginning of the year on, on Bitcoin and the overall crypto market. Now, considering it a, bra a fake breakout, Obviously, it has broken to the upside, so that looks good. Is it sustainable is the real question. Now, I don't think that there's anything that is promoting this move to the upside in terms of inflation or in terms of interest rates or in terms of earnings improving. I think that all of those things are still in bad, uh, they're in bad territory. Inflation is still very high. Yes, it's coming down a little bit, but it, prices and inflation are still very high. Interest rates, the increase is slowing, but interest rates are still high, and it, they're still rising. So that's bad as well. Earnings, bank earnings today, bad news for banks, banks calling for a potential recession. So earnings are still bad and not improving. So everything is still pointing towards a bear market or pointing towards a, you know a, a downward decline or a, a downfall. But if there's anything you need to know, man, people can outpace the market. People can outpace the economy. People can make illogical decisions. And, and yes, this could be a sustained move to the upside. And then one day the market catches back up or one day the economy catches back up to the market. Let's put it that way. One day the, the actual news catches back up and sustains the move. So there's a lot of different ways to look at it, man. But I don't see the... Uh, I don't see the economy supporting the move right now. J-Bones! Oh, we got a lot of Super Chats that I missed, man. I talked way too much, man. Pika Power, thank you very much for the Super Chat. Pika says, I want to see a little unicorn. You got a little unicorn. Ooh, come on. What's up with that little flow there? We, you got a little unicorn, Pika. Oh, yes. Thank you very much for the unicorn. Pika Power and J Bones, Sam the Man. This is for you, man. Sam the Man. You take that banana, you tilt the head back a little bit, you maintain that eye contact, you lick it, and you stick it. 
Thank you very much, J Bones. Sam the Man, hopefully you were watching on that one. There is no past and future. There is only now. You never experience the past and future. It's always here and now. The now is not a moment that appears in time. Time is an idea that appears in the now. Oh, gosh, dude. You guys are beyond me, man. You guys are beyond me, Ryan. That's actually a good way to look at it, man. But, uh, yeah, you, you guys... It's too philosophical for me, man. Too philosophical for me. Ryan, I didn't miss a super chat, did I? I did miss a super chat. I want to help you take my revenge. Clay, Mike. <laughs> Ryan, man. I want to help you take my revenge. I want to help you take my revenge. <laughs> is it right? I don't know, Ryan. Is it right or is it wrong, man? Is it right or is it wrong? And very sorry for missing that. I just talk way too much, dude. Ryan, really appreciate that. And uh, Mr. Mr. Corleone there is is not happy with the way I portrayed that. Very sorry about it, but I tried my best, Ryan. I tried my best. Bitcoin's almost 22,000. I don't think it's a fake breakout, especially some cryptos, 30%. Yeah, and Gala, dude, if you look at Gala, Gala going from 1%, 1 cent, 1 1.5 cents to over 5 cents. So there's been some nice moves. Uh, the breakout isn't fake, but the sustainability of it comes into question when inflation is not is not good, interest rates are not good, earnings are not good. There's a lot of not good out there. To be able to justify the move, the move to the upside. Yes, and Trap too. Yes, and AMC Trapper too. Did AMC Trapper get a new Twitter account, guys? AMC Trapper followed me on Twitter this weekend, and it looks like it was the right AMC Trapper. But I just wanted to make sure. Like, does AMC Trapper have a, a scam Twitter account? Like, that'd be amazing if he did. Oh, there was another super chat before Pika's. Yeah, J Bones was Ryan's man. I think I went up and got it. I was listening to like a bitter ex wife, saw that one, and then uh, I want you to help me take my revenge. Ryan's, I got that one. Yeah, it was just really bad, dude. I, I can't believe I missed that. Thank you very much for telling me to go back up there and look at it. So, dead selling thing isn't going to have a positive effect, that's for sure. Yeah, dude. And I don't understand the whole debt ceiling thing either, man. Instead of following a budget, these people just want more and more and more and more and more debt. It's kind of ridiculous. Moji and Nana for Trapper from Sam Demand number four. Mr. Trapper, if you're out there, AMC Trapper, this is from Sam Demand to you from Moji. I think that's how it goes. You take the head back, AMC Trapper, you lick it, then you stick it. Trapper, Moji, Sam. Thank you very much for that super chat. Loving it, guys. Hey, guys. Got to go 10 to a 4-year-old. Put my phone down for a bit. Everyone have a great day. Kristen, enjoy your day as well. Thank you very much for being in here. Samantha. Samantha, how's your day going? Hopefully, it's going good. Uh, let's see. Just follow you on Twitter, Clay. Dial-up survivor. Just follow me on Twitter. Let's see. Should have followed, uh, followed back. Notifications. Yes. Uh, let's see. I think you're Chris. If you're Chris, dude, you get your first follower right there. Chris got his first follower on that one. I like it. Chris, glad to follow you. CJ killing him, man. We got a little bit of a mic drop. Ooh, yeah, it's so dangerous. Mic drop. Thank you very much, CJ, for the mic drop. Thank you very much for the mic drop. Loving it, CJ. And, uh... Oh man, that could be that could be my invitation to sing to you guys, but I, I don't know. Is it my invitation to sing, or was it like a mic drop moment? I don't even know. Joe Rogan explains time travel pretty good. Picture now time is a, is a line with past, present, and future. When time machine is built, time is no longer a line because people from the future would be here, and we'd all be mixed up in the future. Yes. So what does it become, man? It's no longer linear. What is it? But if it's a line, and there's a future that already exists, and they came back to the future, I don't know, man. I don't know. It's just beyond me, man. It's beyond me. You guys got me. You're going to make my head explode. I don't know. Follow Trapper's new one, too. Probably got scammed. That's what I'm saying, Moji. I followed. Did I get scammed? Like, somebody's out there using AMC Trapper to scam people now? It's crazy. Uh, let's see. Where are we at? Is that Rihanna song? The mic drop? Or the work, 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 work. I don't know. Uh, let's see. My day is going good. I'm about to clock in. But Samantha, enjoy your morning. Thank you very much for being in here. And enjoy your day as well. 
Appreciate you stopping by and uh, hopefully have a good day at work today. Uh, let's see. Ryan! Thank you very much for the super chat, Ryan. Absolutely appreciate it. Ryan is my friend and my brother and my colleague. We look out for each other. We're like family. We're like family, Ryan and I. We're like family. <laughs> Rich O coming in. Ah, yes. Work is a Rihanna song. That it is. Rich coming in and saying, work sucks. Chris, Rich, Rich, Chris, you guys become best friends? Yep. Uh, thanks. Absolutely, Samantha. Enjoy. See you, folks. Mr. Brian, you as well. Enjoy your day if you're taking off already. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Hope all is well. Don't be salty. All is well, man. We got gains across the board today. Things are looking good. AMC sitting at 527. It is up 4.15%. Shiba Inu coins sitting at 1061, up 0.81%. GameStop sitting up 3.81%, 2127. Bitcoin sitting in the green right now, $21,200 per coin. The NASDAQ back slightly into the green right now 0.14 percent higher and uh, just retesting that level of descending uh resistance there so we're gonna keep our eyes on that to see if we're able to break out of that but right now man looking like that may hold up uh mullen auto getting hit pretty hard today 31.14 cents down about 13 percent cei down the spy is down slightly highcroft mining is down just slightly uh, Netflix, BBIG actually doing pretty well today. BBIG up 20% on the day. So somewhat of a mixed day today, but some stocks are doing pretty well. Some stocks are not doing very well, but I, I'd say an overall mixed bag on the day today with Bitcoin and the NASDAQ in the green at the moment. 2023, build your bags. 2024, build your dream house. I like it, Gary. I like it. Yes, 2022 and 2023 could absolutely be an accumulation period, whereas 2024, we could be spending that money. I like it. Buy Samantha number five. Heck yeah. Chris, I don't know, Clay. If it's linear now and everyone starts traveling through time, it wouldn't be a thing because everyone would be living every moment. Oh, my gosh, dude. But would everyone be able to time travel? And could you ever time travel into the future? Imagine if time travel began to exist and you time traveled into the future when time travel became, uh, you know, accessible. Because right now, I feel like if time travel did come into existence, man, it, it would be more expensive than a rocket ride to outer space. More than more expensive than a Jeff Bezos rocket ride into outer space. You're talking like, you know, people might have to pay a billion dollars to time travel, dude. And then what's the point? What does Elon Musk do? Does Elon Musk just time travel back six months and sell his shares of, of Tesla so that he doesn't lose $200 billion? Then what happens, man? Then Tesla sells off six months. Like, uh, it's just crazy. It's great. Time traveling it does not make sense. It is crazy. Dark gets from the Lion King song. The Wingo Up? Or what do we got here? No, I don't know. I might have missed something. I just took it. It took me a minute. There you go. Joe Rogan should change his name to Smoke and Joe. There is no past, no future to be experienced. We live in the now, and the experience is in the now. The past, the future. Ideas in the mind, man. Ideas in the mind. Right. They are ideas in the mind, but it did happen. Can you, re can you experience it again? I don't know. Only in your mind, right? That's a memory. Memory and a thought. All we, all we have are memories and thoughts, man. Sam, Sam, behave. Don't do it. Don't do it, Sam. Don't do it, Sam. Oh, Sam, 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 Sam the man. Oh, man. Oh, jeez. How about Casper, the ghost? What are we talking about? Uh, let's see. Okay, sorry. Good. No, yes. You're good, Sam. You're definitely good. Clay, I'm sure they will offer coupons or discount codes every time I'm traveling. Oh, uh, yes, you can have 10% off this billion-dollar price point to time travel. It's only going to cost you $900 million to time travel. The good news is, if they did take credit, you could easily just time travel back, get yourself a billion dollars, and pay your bill. Therefore, time travel would essentially be free. Because anybody could just go back and... I mean, my gosh, dude. I don't know. You use Google. Just go win the lottery. Back in, I don't know, 2000. And who the heck cares how far back you go? It doesn't even matter, man. I guess it depends on how long you have to be there. Win the lottery. 
I don't care what time. 2009, you win the lottery. You buy $500 million. Like, you just buy Bitcoin or something in 2009. Like, wh whatever your strategy is. And then you go to the future, 30 years into the future, and you're sitting on $100 billion. You, you know the amount of inflation that there would be if if time travel existed? It's like, an, it's like a cheat code for a video game, man. It's just money would be worthless at that point. Time travel better not exist, dude. It just leaves me so stressed out. Money would literally be worthless if you had a cheat code to time travel. It's just, no. Hello, if you put a time machine today and tomorrow, all the people from the future when time travel is cheap could pop up when you wake up. That's what I'm saying, dude. That's what I'm saying. And even if you build it today, you could go back and it would change everything already. So did you even build a time machine today if you built one? Because you went back? Like, what? Oh, God. Chris, you can stress me out, man. You can stress me out. Well, the thing is, Tom Brady's been competing for 23 years and still hasn't won the Daytona 500. Just saying that he has not, Frank. That he is not. Sorry, I've been cooking and not watch, but I have to click. There you go. Sarah, this step, 50 Shades of Croy. You better click that like button. Thank you very much for listening. Tom Hagen and Fredo. Is that good? Ryan, that's good, right? It's got to be good. If you really think about it, the Mandela Effect, false memories or something, is really time travelers changing something in the past? God, dial-up survivor, don't tell me that. Don't tell me that. Come on now. Don't tell me that. Gotta go. Love you all. Sarah Destep, 50 Shades of Croy. Enjoy your day. Enjoy your evening. It's already evening for you. Thank you very much. And hopefully we see you in the afternoon stream today. Bye, Sarah. Bye, Sarah. Bye, Sarah. Bye, 50 Shades. Heck yeah. Brady is such a loser, man. <laughs> Can't even win one darn race. Come on. Everything is happening now. No such thing as time travel. Look at the novel. Uh, look, at, look at the novel. The beginning, middle, and end are all present here and now. Uh, the mind, which is finite. Can't read the entire book now. So you're saying the mind is linear. You guys just try. You guys are just trying. Listen, I don't know if it's because I took some DayQuil or what, but you guys are trying to short circuit me right now. I know you are. I know you are, man. Who the day the time machine is built is the anchor point in time travel. You wouldn't be able to go back to go back future unless you make a portable time machine like the DeLorean. Oh, so you're saying if you go back, you can't come back. You you can't travel back to the future. Oh god, dude. Yeah, but what if you knew how to build it, man? Well, if you were the guy that built it, and all of the materials existed throughout time, just the knowledge to put them together in the way that was necessary did not exist, well, then that knowledge could exist at any point in time. Dude, if you traveled back, I don't know, 3,000 years, man, to ancient Egypt, and, and you could still go mine all the metal and ore that you needed, and you knew how to put it together and all of that stuff. You could generate some electricity back in ancient Egypt. I don't care how you do it. I mean, my gosh, dude, take a, take a solar panel with you or just take some, make a couple of those guys. Instead of making them build the pyramids, dude, make them run in some giant wheel and generate some electricity, and then you've got time travel back in ancient Egypt. Oh, this is a this is a difficult morning, man. This is a difficult morning. Sam, you here in the afternoon live? You better be here in the afternoon live. You're just a boltsman brain. Have fun with that rabbit hole, man. I'm not going down any rabbit holes. It's gonna be fun. Who mind learns linear? That it does. It's one o'clock. Oh, thank goodness. King Mamba, thank you for letting me know. Finally beat him. I don't know. Big power for Clay's time machine fun. No, I do not want a time machine. I never want a time machine. The time machine stresses me out way too much. I love living my life, and I don't need to go back and change it. Come on, we don't need that. Pika, thanks for trying to stress me out. I like it. Uh, thank you very much for that. Guys, get your name in the chat while we're doing this. Clay, just uh, stuck in a time machine. was built earlier than earlier. Yes, this is true. Chris, you're killing me right now, man. You're killing me. Patrick! On a lighter note. Oh, thank God, dude. I still have a brain. And I've got some authorized hydration. That's a dangerous authorization, man. It got my face wet. Appreciate you on that one, Pat. All the authorized hydration is necessary, man. 
Thank you very much for that. Guys, I don't know what we got going on right now. Get your names in the chat. We'll do these shout-outs. We will be back this afternoon. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, you found my kryptonite, man. Time travel and cats are my kryptonite. Both of those. Both of those blow my mind and make me incomprehensible. Appreciate all you guys, man. Ice Bear, Mr. John, CJ, see you later. Peak of Power, Old Rounder, Frank, Crypto, Greg, man. Enjoy your day. Peak of Power, King Mamba, King Mamba. We got Dark Bro, King Mamba, Dark Bro, Moji. See you later. Gary, Sam Demand, number four. Peace out to you, dude. Thanks for being in here. Appreciate you. Next level, Old Rounder, the franchise, Sean. New foe to pool two. Ah, new foe. Thanks for being in here, man. King Mamba, Gary, see you later. Don't be so salty. See you later. Peak of Power, no, you are all good, Peak. You are all good. Rich, peace out to you. Matthew Dropko, see you later. Still hit the like button. Peace out. Appreciate you hitting that like. DD214, enjoy your day. All of you guys, you know what time it is. You want to say it with me. Roulette wheel dial up survivor. Gary, say it with me. Until the next time, hope to each and every one of you have an awesome day.